Mount Tabor, the scene of a great mystical experience in Christianity, is located near the city of Nazareth. According to the scriptures, Jesus invited Peter, James and John to retire with him to this mountain, where he was transfigured in front of them. Moses and Elijah appeared next to Jesus, while a voice from heaven announced, This is my beloved son, listen to him. Moses symbolizes the law and Elijah the prophets. Among the local Christian Arab families, there is a tradition of going up on the mountain the day before the feast and camping there for the night. Jumana came with her family composed of 13 people. We are the Christians of the Holy Land. We should give the importance to this moment and to tell this to the whole world that they can also not to come here in their countries, in their homes, to give uh, the importance to this moment. And if they are not here in the Holy Land, that, that not say that uh, they couldn't, uh, couldn't celebrate with us, with us this, this moment. They should in their house, in their home. The barbecue is part of the folk tradition, but the food they eat here has the goal of satisfying the soul. We're not giving the, uh, the importance to the food that we, that we eat right now. We give the importance to Jesus. The, Jesus is our food. Pilgrims and faithful come here to participate in the Eucharistic celebration at the shrine. The big difference is that this is exactly the place where Jesus was transfigured. So although this is a feast that we have always celebrated, celebrating it here is a major and very significant event. Father Juan accompanied a group from Spain. If I were able to transform all the things that I dislike in my life, I would be allowed to experience the glory that is over him and that I am not able to see at this moment. However, this is a matter of faith and I hope it will be granted to me through the Feast of the Transfiguration. Among the pilgrims, there was also a group of priests who worked for the Pontifical Institute for Foreign Missions. We hope to return home transfigured and to be a seed that will be able to transform and change the lives of people and nations. Father Pier Battista Pizzaballa, the Custos of the Holy Land, presided over the Eucharistic celebration. He emphasized that this biblical episode contains a special significance. It anticipates, indeed, who we will be. We will all be transfigured after our encounter with Christ, transfigured by the risen Christ. This is, therefore, an invitation to raise our eyes from the harsh realities of life without forgetting our destiny, our definitive encounter with Christ. At the end of the Mass, everyone proceeded to the chapel that was built in memory of Jesus' request to his disciples not to speak to anyone about the vision they had seen. This is a powerful invitation, since the Lord does not want us to believe in grandiose signs, but in his words. The Custos finally blessed palms before distributing them to the faithful who were present as a sign of the peace and hope they will announce after coming down from the mountain.